Hey, what's up? My name is Lucas. I'm a photographer and filmmaker based out of West Michigan. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to talk about my color grading workflow on the Leica SL2S L-Log footage using Premiere Pro. I'm gonna walk through color grading a few clips and I'll show you some examples, a few different color grades that I put on it. This video doesn't have any sponsors, but I will be using a few different products. If you're looking for those Leica conversion LUTs, they are in the link in the description. So let's fire up Premiere Pro and get after some color grading. The Leica SL2 and SL2S shoot in rec 2020 and broadcast standard broadcast is rec 709 so your premiere pro timeline is going to be in rec 709 so in order to get that correct you need to convert your footage luckily it's pretty easy um i'm going to take this footage that i took in israel let's see Let's do this one. This is Ellie. Um, so in order to like, you can look at it, his skin tones look good, the, but the, the highlights are kind of blown. Um, this was during sunset in Jerusalem and or sunrise in Jerusalem. And it was just beautiful, but you can see in his skin tones, it's a little bit too magenta. -y, so I'm going to go in and um, to, modify that you're going to you right you right click modify interpret footage color space override rec 709 and there you go it's a much better starting point for your footage um what is nice about it is you don't need to go in and do each individual one you can select all of them right click modify interpret footage color space override whoops rec 709 and there you go now all of them are rec 709 so from here i will add my conversion lot so generally i add my conversion lot directly to the clip and i do my color correction on top of the clip because it is going to be individual for each clip um, i know people that do it where they make an adjustment layer add the color uh, conversion LUT to it, but I like to just add it to my clip and then paste it to each one. So we'll go in to meet your color creative. And then, uh, this is the buttery LUTs con L log conversion clip. And what I love about this is it just retains a lot of detail. This is the sun. So sunrise and it was just, that's gonna be blown out. But in these spots, there's a lot of, there's a nice gradation of color going through there. Uh, looks really nice. So from here, I will add a few adjustments. So I'd like to warm it up a little bit. See, he's wearing a white shirt and it was kind of blue. Um, just kind of want to warm it up and now a little magenta. I'm also looking at his skin tones. And then I want to lift the shadows just a little bit and then drop the blacks so that it, that looks nice to me. Then now I will add a adjustment layer Put it on top of everything. Go back into Lumetri color. And then this is where I will put my look, my color look. Uh, this isn't sponsored by Eric Loberg. I just like his stuff. And I would say that looks really good. Um, I might back off the intensity a little bit. One thing that I will know, 
I generally don't have a large softbox right next to my computer, right behind my computer while I'm editing footage because it does adjust the way that things look. Um, but this looks really good to me at this starting at this point. Another thing, um, I will add grain to the final image, but this is really what I do on every single one of my one of my clips. I color correct, add the conversion lot, and then add a look. So let's go. Here's another. So we've already converted this to Rec 709. Let's do right here. So I will go ahead, add our conversion lot, buttery LUTs, L log. And uh, buttery LUTs isn't a sponsor of this, but they do have a promo code. If you use Lucas15 at checkout when you buy these LUTs, then uh, you get a 15% discount and I get a little bit of a kickback on that as well. Uh, so use it if you're interested. Um, so here, that looks really good off the bat. It was really warm. I shot this warm intentionally. This was uh, in Jerusalem as well. Most of this is going to be there. I'm going to add a little bit of magenta back in, actually, and maybe pull that off a bit. And then let's see what that Avondale does. Yeah, that looks really good to me. Um, So these are. Do I need to tell you a joke? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Out of all the places in Jerusalem, <laughs> that's going to be the place. So that looks good to me. Let's go ahead. Let's grab a, a few other different situations. Here is my wife um, posing for me. She. So this is before I added the conversion. So I'll go in, modify, interpret footage, color space override, and rec 709. There we go. So that looks really good right off the bat. Um, I'm gonna add my creative LUT, or my, uh, my I'm gonna add my conversion LUT, rec 709. And that looks good. Go in, make a few adjustments. If you look, she's also wearing white. That's kind of nice. So if you go too far and then bring it back, you can kind of find where it's supposed to be. Um, that looks good to me. I am going to drop. So this I shot with my SL2S. And if I remember correctly, it was my 50 Sumalux R lift the shadows a little bit, drop the blacks again, pull the highlights. So here, uh, Avondale is a little bit too, too heavy for my taste. So I'm gonna drop it down just a little bit. That looks good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's, uh, I want to, <clears throat> want to give a good range of stuff, of looks. So here is, if I remember correctly, yeah. Okay, so this was a sunset uh, at Grand Haven Beach. We can, this was, <laughs> here's some guys fishing out in the snow. So let's see. Uh, we'll batch, convert, modify, interpret footage, color space override, switch to Rec 709, boom. Go back to Lumetri Color. So yeah, that is that is my process. That's what I do on all of my clips. Going to copy it. Um, just so I can paste it next time. And then we'll go through, let's see, what's Avondale look like? 
not my favorite. So we will go into Lumetri. I want to try Belmont because that's a little bit bluer. Yeah, that looks good. Here's the icicles. Now that looks kind of dark. So let's, let me uh, show you a little latitude that you have with this footage. So, I mean, that looks really nice to me. Even bumped up to 2.3. Um, you can bring it all the way back. You can bring it back to zero. But as long as you get the right information, you should be able to recover things fairly well. I'm going to bring the blacks back down. You can make this really, really punchy if you wanted it to. And then warm it up just a little bit and pull back. Yeah, I mean, that looks really good. Um, so, so let me go in, um, just show a good comparison. I think, uh, here I've got, I want to show just one comparison of the Leica conversion LUTs and then this buttery LUT that I like to use. And you're going to notice the biggest, uh, switch with the highlights and how those work. So let's see. Let's do this one. I think this will be good. Yeah. So this, you can see lots going on there. This is with the SL2S modify, interpret footage, color space override, Rec 709. Okay. So now we're in the correct color space. I'll go ahead and I will put on the Leica conversion lots just so you can see kind of a side by side. So here's natural and we'll do rec 709 because we've converted it. And that's really, I mean, it looks great. It's really punchy, but when you look at those highlights, they are gone, absolutely gone. Um, so what I'll do here, I'm gonna turn this one off and then add there is the buttery LUTs. So if you look at just those, we'll go in here. See how there's so much more detail in the highlights? We'll turn this off. There's log. Here is the Leica Natural, and it's just, it's gone. Um, totally torched. Uh, so that's where, that's why I like the buttery LUTs because it gives you a better starting spot. And when you're using conversion LUTs, you really don't want them to be like, have the, uh, have the contrast built in. You really want to always be pulling back on your black slider to add contrast or in adding an S curve in your uh, curves. Because if you bake it in to the footage, then you're not going to have a fun time coming back and recording. So let's let's go back and you, this is the buttery LUT conversion LUT. And even if I pull back the highlights here, that looks really nice. We'll drop the kind of flying blind there. Drop the black down, bring shadows up, exposure up, contrast back, and then This is Belmont. Let's add Avondale. Yeah. I love the golden light that just kind of comes through those trees. And so that's it. Uh, if you've got any questions, please drop them down below and I'll be happy to respond to as many as I can and help any way that I can with that. If you found this video useful and you're still watching, please like and subscribe. It would really make a difference and I will see you in the next video.